Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here bringing you another Minecraft BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Mayflower. The Mayflower was an English ship that transported a group of English families known today as the Pilgrims from England to new, the New World in 1620. After a grueling 10 weeks at sea, Mayflower with 102 passengers and a crew of about 30 reached America, dropping anchor near the tip of Cape Cod, Massachusetts on November 21st. Deferring from their contemporaries, the Puritans, the Pilgrims, chose to separate themselves from the Church of England because they believed it was beyond redemption due to its Roman Catholic past and the Church's resistance to reform, which forced them to pray in private. Starting in 1608, a group of English families left the England for the Netherlands where they could worship freely. By 1620, the community determined to cross the Atlantic for America, which they considered a new promised land, where they would establish Plymouth Colony. The Pilgrims had originally hoped to reach America by early October using two ships, but delays and complications meant they could use only one, the Mayflower. Arriving in November, they had to survive unprepared through a harsh winter. As a result, only half of the original pilgrims survived the first winter at Plymouth. Without the help of local indigenous people to teach them food gathering and other survival skills, all the colonists might have perished. The following year, those 53 who survived celebrated the colony's first fall harvest along with 90 uh, Wampanoag Native American people, an occasion declared in centuries later the first American Thanksgiving. This uh, ship here is uh, kind of a, I guess, a theme build for Thanksgiving, which is today an American holiday in which you basically give thanks, eat a lot of food. I mean, it's it's great. It's a great holiday, right? Who doesn't like eating food? Uh, but the meaning behind it is really to sit down and kind of give thanks to, um, you know, be grateful for all that you have. And uh, I just want to take some time before we jump into this tutorial to just say thank you all for uh, your support and basically helping, I guess, promote my channel and really get my channel to where it is now. Uh, I'm super thankful to have the following that I do and have the people that really do love my builds and uh, really do like my videos. And uh, I'm just super thankful to have made it this far and continue to look forward to see, as, see how far we can go with this channel as it continues to expand and grow larger every day. So again, a big thank you so much for uh, everything you guys do to support me and what I do, and um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, but without uh, further ado, um, let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at this little BAFTA build skilled Mayflower. Um, <laughs> I think this thing's actually kind of cool, not going to lie. Uh, something I just kind of decided to do in the heat of the moment, I built this uh, basically today, and as if you've seen this video, and I think this thing came out really good. Lots of good detail for being a sh ship of this kind of type, I guess. Um, it's a really small, as you can see, it's a really super small ship compared to that of like the HMS Victory, which just <laughs> towers over this thing. Um, so it's a really small ship, but uh, super nice. We got a nice lot of detail here. We got the mass, all that stuff. This is based off of real pictures. Well, I say real pictures, but replicas of the Mayflower and how it probably looked. Obviously, this may not be 100% accurate, but I obviously did my best to find sources that were, at least for the most part, accurate. And I think this here kind of capture that pretty well for at least the most part uh but yeah kind of a historic ship because it i would say is kind of like the start of american history as basically it was the first kind of real colonist to come and settle the new land and basically what later on led to uh, the founding of the united states of america so anyways uh without further ado let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer all right guys so moving into our first layer we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer one for layer one here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make sure that we position this correctly as this layer here would presumably be in the water if you are building this in the water, which I imagine a lot of you guys probably will. What you want to do is you want to make sure you place the smooth quartz upside down stair here, and this is going to be the start there of our front of our ship. It's going to be basically at our water level. You can see the blue wool here representing that water level, and that stair is going to go right there. Um, so just take that in note when you build this to go ahead and start at that point there. We want to go ahead and then place down one, two, three, four, five. Uh, smooth quartz blocks back, followed by a diorite wall, and then a white stained glass pane after that. We're going to go to the, then go to the sides of the stair here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, then back from that we're going to place down a diorite wall to both sides, then two smooth quartz blocks, again on both sides here, then another diorite wall to both sides, and then a white stained glass pane to both sides like that. And that right there will basically finish off our first layer, layer number one. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stripped jungle wood block on top of the stair. Then a granite 
wall coming off like that going forward. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, and five, and six more of these stripped jungle wood back to so save a total of seven there. And then we're going to place down a granite wall like this on the end here. We then want to place down a brown stained glass pane on the side here, then one, two, three, four, five granite walls, and then a player head like so. We're going to do the same thing over here brown uh, stained glass pane. Then one, two, three, four, five walls back, and then a player head like that on the end. We then want to go ahead and go to our middle uh, three uh, inside walls, and we're going to go ahead and grab item frames. We're going to place down one, two, and three item frames. Coming off those item frames, we're going to place down black concrete, and we want to go and then place down some jungle wood signs on the side there of those walls. And same thing will be done over here on this side as well. Like that and this is basically just creating little portholes on the side of the ship it's not uh, supposed to be cannons or anything like that and that right there is going to conclude what we have there for layer number two and with that we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer layer number three moving into our next layer we have layer number three for layer three to begin with we're going to place down a stripped jungle wood block on top of this one here we're going to go and then grab a jungle wood slab we're going to place down one slab forward and then a top slab coming off of it like so going forward on both sides of this block, we're also going to place down a player head, and we want to go and also place down a jungle wood fence gate on both sides of these slabs and have them open up toward the slabs like so. We then want to place down a granite wall right here, and then to the sides of it, we're going to place down a player head like this on both sides. Make sure that the back of the head is facing toward the outside for this middle section. Uh, we then want to go and place down a iron trap door on the top of this spot right here, then another player head to both sides. Uh, we're going to then place down a spruce wood fence post in the center here, if I can. So spruce wood fence post, and then again a wither skeleton skull to both sides, like that. Continue, now we're going to place down a granite wall here in the center, and then to the sides we're going to grab a brown stained glass pane. We're going to place down a brown stained glass pane to both sides. In the middle here, we're going to place down one, two, and three. Jungle wood, uh, strip jungle wood blocks back, then one and two and three more brown stained glass paint so you have a total of four along the side here like so we're gonna go then grab item frames on these middle two glass panes we're gonna place down item frames followed by brown beds in the item frames which are gonna rotate on their sides like so pillows facing toward the front and if you're on java we'll place down the jungle wood signs on the side here of the item frames or on the side of the glass panes kind of all in the same block space as the item frames that is gonna be a java only feature so if you're uh, not able to place down the signs and item frames in the same block space then just go ahead and place down the item frames and disregard the signs there and the signs are just there for a bit of extra detail and then on the back here, we're going to place down our item frame here, and we're going to then place down a black bed in the item frame, rotated like so, and then a jungle wood side on the side of that uh, block as well. And with that all complete there, that right there is going to conclude what we have there for layer number three. And uh, with that, we're probably just going to go ahead and go straight up into our uh, layers all up on top. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to layers, uh, or all the final layers. One thing we'd like to cover real quick for our Java players is we can go ahead and use the slash give command at p space minecraft colon debug stick and this right here will be your command uh, by pressing enter after entering this command we will get this glowing stick here. Now we can actually go ahead and do a little bit of detail that's a little bit more catered to just Java only. Um, and that's going to be going ahead and going to this section here. We're going to place down a block that comes off this middle um, player head there. We're going to place down a ladder on the side of it. And then taking our debug stick, we'll right click, or sorry, left click the um, ladder here until we get selected facing. It should say a direction. By right clicking, we can go ahead and rotate this ladder to actually connect up to the side of that um, player head. And we're going to do the same thing also back here for this section, except coming off this glass pane. So we're going to do the same thing right here like so. And it's just a nice way to kind of get that extra detail in um, for if you're on Java, having access to this that you uh, won't be able to have if you're on a different version. And I just feel like this detail is kind of nice because it just helps really kind of bring the whole build together. Um, however, if you obviously do not have access to a debug stick, then um, you can go ahead and just disregard this whole step altogether as it's not totally essential to the overall build. Anyways though, that right there is going to conclude what we have for uh, layer 3, and with that we can go ahead and move into our final layers now. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers, we have layers 4 through 10. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, uh, we want to go ahead and begin with by placing down a lever on top of this block here, and then a end rod coming off that lever. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a barrier block, and we're going to place down a barrier block right here, 
and then coming off that barrier block or to place down a lever. You can also use structure blocks, I believe they are invisible as well and something that Bedrock does have, so you can use those as well. Um, anyways, go ahead and continue on, we're going to then place down one and two spruce fence posts up like so, and then a spruce fence gate coming off both sides of this fence post and we're going to open this up toward the front there. On top of that, we're going to go ahead and place down a granite wall and then another spruce wood fence post and then one and two end rods going up like so. We then want to go ahead and place down an end rod on both sides of this granite wall and then a spruce fence post, or actually sorry, remember that, a end rod on both sides of this end rod up here like that. We're going to go then place down two barrier blocks, one on each side of this fence post and coming off those barrier blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three white banners like that for the sails. Down here in this section, we're going to place down one, two, and three white banners coming off those uh, fence gates and fence posts. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some barrier blocks again. We're going to go ahead and go off this lever, one and two barrier blocks back, and then one up that's going to go off this granite wall like so. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down uh, one and two buttons here, and then one like that. Same thing here, one and two, and one button right there. We're going to go ahead and place down a barrier block on top of this one. Or rather, sorry, on top of this barrier block here. And then we're going to have stone buttons again to both sides. After that, we want to go and then place down a another barrier block that's going to go up at an angle. And then again, a stone button on both sides. And then a barrier block that's going to come off this end rod here. And we're going to have a fence or a stone button on both sides like that. So once those item frames disappear, or sorry, the barrier blocks, we should get something that looks like that there for the ringing there for the sail. And with that, we'll go ahead and continue to work our way toward the back there. So with that done, uh, go ahead and continue on to the back. We're going to go ahead and grab barrier blocks. We're going to place down a row of three across this section right here. So there's a row of three across there, and we're going to then place down a um, ladder on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down a barrier block that goes up the center here. We're going to place down a lever on both sides of the uh, barrier block. And we're going to go ahead and rotate this so it faces down, or so it's open downwards. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a player's head that will be coming off this wall right here. After that, for our uh, next mast, we're going to place down a spruce wood fence post on top of this one right here. Then two end rods out to the sides. We're going to go then go up with a, another spruce fence post, followed by a second one. And then we're going to go and place down another two. Actually, rather, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of our fence gates. So we're going to place down one fence gate like this, and then one that's going to be open toward the front. Same thing over here, fence gate and one open toward the front there. Grabbing our white banners, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five across like so. We'll also go ahead and take barrier blocks and come off this middle fence post here. We're going to place down two barrier blocks out to the sides here. And we're going to go then place down one, two, three. And then we're going to go and do our four and five white banners like that across there for that main sail there. We're going to go then place down a granite ladder on top of this, or granite, um, wall up on top here, then a another uh, spruce wood fence post, and then going up two end rods like this for the very top there. We're going to go ahead and place down a um, spruce fence post, or fence gate to both sides of that fence post, and we're going to have this open toward the front there. We then want to go ahead and grab our white barriers, and we're just, or white uh, banners, and we're just going to place down three white banners across like so. Okay, so one quick adjustment here. We're actually going to go ahead and delete these uh, spruce wood fence posts and we're going to go ahead and basically move them up one. So we're just going to kind of build one more up from them, delete these ones down right there, and we're going to then place down our three white banners uh, that are going to go across the top here. This uh, one end rod also will change out for a fence post so that we can place down our um, uh, that are placed on our white banner. And then to the both sides of this fence post right here underneath this, we're going to place down a barrier block and we can go and then place down our white banners here to both sides like so and then also we're to place down an end rod coming off both sides of this granite wall like that um, to both sides after that's done um, we're going to then take our barrier blocks we're going to place down uh, one that's going to come off this top one and then we're going to then place down a barrier block coming off this one here we're going to place down stone buns on both sides of those barrier blocks like that for the rigging and we also want to place down a barrier block right here coming off that granite wall and this is going to have stone buns on both sides of it as well so just like that then uh, going ahead and moving to the back here, uh, we want to go and place down a iron trap door on top of this uh, jungle block right there. 
her jungle wood block. And we're going to go then place down a row of three barrier blocks again across this section here. And this can be followed up with a ladder on both ends. We then want to place down another barrier block here in the center. And we're going to go then place down a lever. Or uh, actually rather a um, ladder to both sides. Or actually we'll do a lever. So we're going to do a lever here to both sides. And then a narrow barrier block up on top here. This is going to have a ladder to both sides of that barrier block like so. And we then want to go ahead and place down a player head coming off this granite wall like that. And that right there is going to do that. Then uh, continuing on, we want to go ahead and then go to this back section here. We're going to place down uh, two player heads on top of those glass panes. So one, two. And one, two over here as well. And we're also going to place down jungle slab here in the center like that with a end rod coming off of it going toward the back there. Um, at this point, we're going to then place down a spruce fence post. That'll be going up right here. And then a second fence post on top of that. And then a third one up with an end rod on the very top there. We're going to place down a spruce fence gate coming off this top fence post here. And then one coming off the fence post right below it like that. And we're going to have both these fence gates opened up toward the right side like so. Coming off the right side here, we're going to place down a... Uh, white banner, like so, coming off that fence gate, coming off this fence post, and then also coming off this fence gate here, a white banner like that for the rear sail here. And behind this, we're going to go ahead and go to this um, fence post here. We're going to place down a barrier block behind that. Or actually, my bad. We're going to go ahead and just place down a banner also below that fence post right there. So just like that to go ahead and make that rear um, sail there. We then want to go ahead and take our barrier blocks. We're going to place down a barrier block coming off this fence post here, and then a stone button here to both sides. After that, we're going to go then place down a barrier block on the very top. That'll be coming off this end rod. Then a barrier block below that one. On both sides of this barrier block, on the lower portion, we're going to place down a stone button. And we're going to go then drop down another barrier block like that, down like a staircase from this one. And then stone buttons again on both sides, like so. Then with that all complete, uh, we're also going to place down a barrier block on this end rod back here. And another uh, stone button on both sides there. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and get into a Java only feature, but we'll be basically doing our ladder trick. And that's going to be placing down a block right here, and then a uh, ladder. We're going to go and take our debug stick, and we're just going to go ahead and rotate this ladder until it's on the side of that uh, player head there. And also on the left side here, we're going to place down a player head coming off this fence post here. On this side, we're going to go and do the same thing, coming off this player head, a ladder, and we're just going to rotate it like that so it's coming off that um, player head like so. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up uh, what we have there for that. And the last thing on top here is this banner that is the English flag. This is going to go on the side of this uh, block right here. Um, or it could be, it would actually probably be uh, this flag here um, that would be on it. But either one, uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there to do this English flag. It's pretty straightforward and simple to do. Um, you can do the kind of more traditional English flag like so. Or that flag there um i can't remember exactly which one they were using but both of these would work um and you can kind of spruce up your ship there with uh the flag of uh, the country that they were coming from anyways though that right there is going to complete my tutorial here for the mayflower uh hope you guys do enjoy it and are able to put it to good use if you do end up using this build i do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. this being from a sign the build tweet to my channel or this video if this does bring your social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for your fruits for a project you guys are working on overall enjoy the build have fun with it and all that fun stuff and again, a big thank you guys all so much for your support on the channel, and I really do appreciate it, and I'm, I'm super excited to continue on um, growing and seeing how far we get in with your guys' continued support and you guys watching the videos and enjoying them and all that fun stuff. So, again, a big thank you guys so much for all your continued support over the years. But with that, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.